Hey, my Lipton. So I'm just going to review um, Harry Potter and the Deathly Hollows part one. Let me just, okay. I know, you know, I just did, um, which one was the one I just did? Goblet of Fire. And I'm, you know, I, I already watched, I, I just finished, I watched The Order of the Phoenix and The Half-Blood Prince. Mm -hmm. And personally for me, it's just that like, you know, it, they, were, they were both cute. They were both cute, especially Order of the Phoenix. Honestly, Order of the Phoenix, like, towards the end of that film, towards the end, like, that battle scene between um, Voldemort and freaking all of them, all of them, like, the Death Eaters and Sirius Black, when they all came in, and then you had Harry, and then Sirius Black dies, and then you had Voldemort come in there looking like a freaking, like, he just bounced in there, and him and Voldemort set, put, pulled out their wands and started battling it out. Everything in, from that scene was beautifully shot. Beautifully shot. Like, I enjoyed that scene really, really much. Um, the Half-Blood Prince was also good, too. I wasn't as, like... Ex like it wasn't as, like, whoop de woo Like, it wasn't as, like, you know, exciting as um, the previous films, but it was still good. Um, I, I, I still want to look at the whole, like, Snape being the Half-Blood Prince and then... I, I personally don't think that, and I haven't watched um, Deathly Hollows on um, part two, but I, I, I just don't think that um, Dumbledore is dead. I think that um, Dumbledore and Snape made a plan or something, because I know uh, Snape did a deal with the with the other, de what's her name? Hel Hel the Helen Baden Carter uh, uh, character, she needs to go. She needs to go. She needs to die. She stays killing these characters, okay? First she killed off freaking Sirius Black. Now she killed off Dobby, even though Dobby annoyed me in the beginning uh, movies, um, with the Goblet of Fire, he annoyed me as hell, but then I saw, you know, as time went on, I started to like him, but, you know, she needs to go, she needs to go, what is her, what is her character name, I just don't want to call her by her, um, her, Helen Baden Carter, let me see, let me see what her character name is, she gets on my goddamn nerves, I was so annoyed with her, she's just killing all these people as if, but then again, that's how you're supposed to do it, if you're saying that you're gonna kill somebody, kill somebody, like, don't, don't be, don't be freaking, just sitting there talking about some, oh, you're going to die, you're going to die. It's like, okay, kill them then. Like, you, they're going to die, they're going to die. Like, but no, like, um, but yeah, so like, as far as like, Order of the Phoenix, I thought it was great. half Blood Prince was okay. Um, let, now let's get to Deathly Hollows. Let me tell you something. Uh, you know what, let me, you know what, uh, well, before I even get to all of that, let me, in the beginning of this film, y'all, I'm sorry, uh, Voldemort and the Death Eaters dragged the ever like put he he stomped uh he put a oh my god he beat the shit out of Harry and the gang <laughs> bro I'm sorry in the beginning of this film Harry and his friends got their shit rocked okay he killed off um what's his name Mad Eye or whatever they when they when they all transitioned into the like, different different Harrys they yo. That first scene with the Death Eaters going after them, they got their shit rocks. Well, um, here's her name. Bellatrix. Yeah, Bellatrix gotta go. Bellatrix, I, I can't stand her. She's always, she's always doing something her annoying ass. She's always killing somebody. She needs to go. I need to see who the hell gets rid of this chick because she's absolutely just the worst person. But no, in the beginning, they got their shit rocked um, of Deathly Hollows. And then, and then, oh my God! And then, um, Hed, um, Hedwig, the owl died. Oh, like they, they were just. I will say this: the violence is just increasing and increasing. And this is what I'm talking about. This is what I'm talking about. Like, in the, as you guys can tell, in the my earlier reviews of the Harry Potter movies, like with the, um, Sorcerer's Stone. And like I, I, I didn't do the review of Chamber of Secrets because I thought it was a little bit too boring. But it, I, that in um, Prison of Azkaban, even though I really, really like Prison of Azkaban, I did say like within those three films, I felt like you know there was a little, especially in the first one. Oh my goodness, it, there was a lot of like, a little bit of corniness, a little bit of like this glorified Disney um, uh, Halloween movie ish in a good way, in a good way because we all love a good Disney Disney Channel movie. But I was saying I was like you know it's a little bit corny, but as time goes on, it gets more, like, gory. It gets violent. But it's still, like, in a more PG-13 kind of vibe. But it's it, you can tell, like, you know, the script is, is being more matured as they get, as the characters, Harry, 
Ron, Hermione get older, um, the cinematography, the like the fight scenes is is more matured. It's more like effort put, being put into it. And this is what I'm talking about. And this is what I feel like a lot of these franchises are missing nowadays. It's like they're not progressing within their content. They're not progressing within the, within the creativity, within the writing. You know, everything is still stuck. And in a way, I, I that's how I feel about um, these recent Marvel movies. I feel like, you know, after Infinity War, after Endgame, it's like they regressed back to how they used to do things. And it's just like, and at this point, it's gotten worse. So I think that if you're going to continue to make a, a, a film, to if that, a, a, the new film is supposed to beat out the old film. And I think that Definitely Hollows definitely was that. They, uh, they amped it up with the, with the fights, the gore. The, the the mature content especially mature content like because there was there was a one particular scene i'm going to talk about it there was one particular scene where i was just like okay girl like this is very very much like pg-13 yes 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 middle school going into high school um but yeah like i i, I really really enjoyed that i thought that you know it it, it it things were taken very very seriously the stakes were high there was a sense of urgency that I enjoyed within the part one uh, of Deathly Hollows. Now, um, so y'all gonna y'all gonna sit in my face because I know I I remember I spoke to one of my family members about this. I was like, listen, I don't understand why I don't know J.K. Rowling or whatever put Ron with Hermione when clearly Hermione and Harry have the more chemistry. I'm sorry, like I know within freaking um i think i was watching like i think some of it was order order of the phoenix and then there was um another half of it that was in uh, of the half blood prince but freaking y'all trying to make a uh, guinea or what's her name guinea or Ginny and and harry um harry potter y'all trying to make them a thing y'all trying to make them happen and it's just like i, I don't know like I, i'm not getting anything from them like the chemistry is not there and maybe it's in the books yeah i, I mean the ones that are the Harry Potter uh, book freaks, that guy's going to be like, oh, no, that's not true. Ginny and... Is her name Ginny or is it Ginny? I think it's Ginny. Ginny and Harry, there's more chemistry within the books. They just didn't put They just didn't put it in the movies. That's why you feel that way. Maybe, maybe not. Well, maybe. It must, yeah, most likely that's probably the case. But I don't know. I'm going by what the movies are showing me right now. And at this moment, all I can say is, Ginny and Harry do not have chemistry. I'm sorry, it's not giving... Like, it seems like Ginny is more... She, she, she It seems like she has more of a crush on him. And to me, like, I, I don't even think that he's really paying her that much attention. Like, and she's just like, oh, yeah, that's... Blah, blah. And it's just like, I feel like he's just saying his line that, oh, yeah, you know, Ginny's also really... Blah, blah, blah. To, to, you know, to make her feel better. I, I don't... I don't... I'm not getting anything from that. Personally, from... Even, even from Ron and Hermione. I don't know. Ron and Hermione give me friendship vibes like i don't know like they just they're brother sister like they nag at each other to pick on each other like they that's what they give me and y'all i'm sorry when you're going into deathly hollows and you know what's so crazy before i even get to that i think it was in order of the phoenix or the half blood prince i'm not sure where, where dumbledore even says oh so harry like um what do you like so outside of the cat like outside of hogwarts what are you doing outside like what's going on and harry was like huh sir <laughs> like he was like sir and then the was like uh, you know i'm just seeing you hanging out with hermione miss 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 granger like a lot so what's the tea like are y'all guys dating <laughs> like he was that's what he was trying to say and harry's like oh no 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 no. you know that's my friend you know that's my good good that's my good 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 sis that's my friend and i'm just like harry bye I was like, Harry, bye. You know what it is. And then on top of that, they amplified the chemistry between Hermione and and Harry within Deathly Hollows Part 1. I felt like it was amplified um, in this movie. Like, <coughs> even Ron. And in a way, too, I kind of like that they did the whole, like, um, uh, triangle, love triangle-ish thing. Where, like, Ron was kind of jealous because he feels like... Hermione prefers Harry over him and like that whole dynamic actually like usually sometimes it can become annoying because it's too cliche but I actually enjoyed it for for this I thought that it worked really really well I love oh my gosh 
I love that little dance. It seems so genuine. That little dance scene where um, Hermione was feeling down because Ron left and everything. And Harry just like, you know, was just like, you know, let's just dance. Let's just put some music on. Let's just dance. It was so cute. It was so cute. It was so cute. I loved it. I loved it. I loved it. Um, But yeah, you know, Ron, you know, here's the thing too. I Y'all know. I, I said in the beginning, like, in my early reviews, I'm like, I'm not too much of a big fan of Ron. But in this movie, I felt really bad for him because I felt like Ron, Ron got his shit rocked, okay? Like, he, his, that part where the shoulder was, oh, my God. They messed him up in this movie. Like, they really, really messed up Ron in this movie. And then that one scene, when they got the necklace, what is it called? The hork, the hork, what is it called? Hold on, let me see what it, it's. It's the necklace thing where uh, Voldemort has the, his different different souls or life in in the thing, and they were trying to destroy it. So then, Ron says something like, "Yo, how could like so you mean to tell me Dumbledore gave you a task to go find these necklaces to go, but he didn't tell you how to destroy them?" And in a way, I was kind of like, "Yo, facts like." Why, like, you're telling me that we need to get these things and we need to destroy them. But, like, don't, don't send me no riddles. Don't give me no riddles. Don't give me no tippy, tippy toe, da da da. And me. Like, my life is at risk right now. Be blunt. Tell me how to destroy this shit. And I know they have to do it because, you know, da da da. But it's like, it, 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 it was kind of annoying. And you can tell that Ron was really annoyed. And I can relate to Ron in that instance. Because he was super annoyed. He was like, yo, we went through all this, this struggle, all this pain. Blessed one in tears, and we don't even know how to destroy this fucking thing. I was weak. I was weak. But no, I enjoyed it. I, I enjoyed this movie. I thought that it was great. I, it was so beautifully shot. And usually, <coughs> you know, sometimes when things, like, are super low and they're just talking and stuff, like, I'll be like, oh, you know, they need to, like, make a quick thing. That's how I felt about in the Chamber of Secrets. But I don't know. It worked extremely well um, for... The de- uh, for Deathly Hollows Part 1, I thoroughly enjoyed this movie. Um, and obviously, you know, oh my god, like the action, like I said, the action scenes were great. Cinematography was great. The acting was great. Like, you, we gotta remember, these three, especially, um, Daniel Radcliffe, Emma Watson, and uh, who played the character of Ron? I'm sorry, y'all. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. He's one of the main characters. I don't know his name. Um, Rupert Grint. They, they, listen, they're acting their asses off. They're acting, and these are children, they were, these were kids at the time. Like, they're acting, acting, okay? Like, I think that, you know, the emotions that they show, like, they show happiness, they show, like, they, I, I, I they went to some acting school, they're just naturally gifted, but I think that these three are just great, and without them, this movie would not be what it is. And, um, it's gonna be real interesting to see what happens in part two i'm about to watch, start watching it um after i do this review and i'm gonna give you guys my review on that but hopefully um it it ex- um exceeds my expectations um from the first from part one but um no but listen they 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 gotta get rid of so many people like lucius malfoy he gotta go bellatrix she gotta go okay uh a fucking um warm tail he gotta go all of them gotta go. Like, they're so fake. With Snape, I still don't think... Maybe I need to watch part two, but I still don't think that he... he He's really, really, like, a Death Eater. Like, a part of the, um, the Dark Lord's um mili- uh, army. Like, I think that he's just doing it just to, you know, infiltrate the army. And then when it's time... I, I, that's what I think is gonna happen in part two. But we'll see. But yeah, um, as far as, like, when it comes to the country... Yeah, I already know. I'm sorry. I'm Ginny or Guinea, whatever her name is. I, I, I don't see it for her. I don't see it for her. And I don't think that I'm, my mind is going to be changed when I... Because it, it's like... I, okay. I think that I would have bought it if they built it up from the beginning. Okay? With Harry and Guinea. Like, I think that they should have built it up from the beginning. Um, But it's just... It's just... It's not there. And I don't even think it's going to be there when I watch part two. um, Because I know they're going to try to put them together. But... Well, they are going to put them together, unfortunately. And then they're going to put... I know, I know, because I know this from the past, like, from my memory. I know Hermione and Ron are going to get together, which I think is ridiculous, but whatever. Um, because they really, really amplified the chemistry between 
Harry and Hermione in Deathly Hollow. Even even when the when they were coming to destroy the the ankle uh, the necklace thing, and then um, the Death Eaters like soul or spirit came out. The thing was like, oh yeah, you you're you're the least favorite from your mothers, and even the girl that you love doesn't even love you, and um, he she would prefer the friend over you. Like so, Ron knows. Ron knows, and he knows what I'm thinking too. So like. Um, but yeah, so we're going to get into it, but so I'm looking at this here. It says Def, um, Harry Potter, Deathly Hollows part two has a 96, um, percent Rotten Tomatoes rating, which is like amazing. So hopefully it needs to exceed my expectations. It needs to give it, it needs to give, hold on. And the thing is, so they, they gave part one 77%. Hold on. They gave part one 77%. And they give part two 96%. Um, Martin Tomatoes. So, listen. It seems like part two is about to give it. It's about to serve. I'm about to watch it. And I'm about to give you guys my review. Um, But, yeah. Please tell me what you guys think in the comment section below. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Subscribe, subscribe. Let's get up to 700 subscribers. And I'll talk to you guys later.